of Manangkil. Today we not only honor Today we not only honor his incredible contributions to the world of art, but also his lasting legacy as the founder of the Philippine Artists Group of Canada. Roy Romeo Manangkil was a man of profound vision. In 1988, when he founded the PAG of Canada here in Ontario, he sought to create a space where Filipino artists could come together, support one another, and share their works with the broader Canadian community. He was driven by the belief that art has the power to bridge cultures, tell stories, and preserve the rich traditions of our Filipino heritage. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. And uh, I'm very honored by your presence today. I hope everybody can hear me. And I hope so that everybody can see me. <laughs> 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 well, uh, first of all, I would like to uh, to denounce the rumor floating around that I am now 100 years old. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I'm really, really honored by your presence. Uh, to think that uh, I'm able to uh, to mount this first retrospective show in my life. And the first one month show in Canada. Okay. I I don't know how what to say because your presence and the gathering of all these artworks virtually makes me speechless. Maybe what I can do now is call on people to say things that they really want to and say it for me. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I would like to call on uh, uh, the acting president of uh, the Philippine Artist Group now, uh, Michelle Charmaine Ramos, to represent the group that I founded oh, sorry. many, many years ago. Michelle. spoke to me yesterday and asked me to say a few words about it. I told Tito, I asked Tito Romi, Tito Romi, what would you like me to say? And he said, just say anything you know about me. And I said, including the cheese piece behind the artworks. <laughs> he gave me permission, so it's okay. He's right here. So, 
Where do I even begin? I would like to start off with a quote by St. Francis of Assisi, which, say, which says, He who works with his hands is a laborer. He who works with his hands and his head is a craftsman. But he who works with his hands, his head, and his heart is an artist. And as we look at the paintings in this gallery today, I think it's safe to say that you can read an artist's heart in their heart. And as I think about everything going on right now, seeing all your wonderful faces here today, it's, it strikes me when I consider the possibility that this might never have happened had Dita Romi not made a pivotal choice decades ago. So years back, Dita Romi sh shared a story about how when he was, how when he was much younger and uh, when he decided to take up fine arts, his father was well-meaning like many loving Filipino parents wanted wanted Dita Romi to take a totally different path. And Dita Romi said, I want to study fine, I'm paraphrasing, he's here, he can correct me. He said, I, I want to take fine arts, and if, if, um, and if you won't let me take fine arts, then I won't go to school at all. And I would say that was one of the things that struck me about Dita Romi when I think about the success story, because it takes a lot of courage to go against what people expect us to be. But saying no to what everyone expects us to be is saying yes to what God made you to be. And as we can see here, with decades worth of work and a lifetime of achievements, I wouldn't even say that Dita Romi's greatest achievements are in his artwork. That is a reflection of his love, his love for his family, his country, his faith, as we can see on this wall here. But I want to thank Dita Romi for showing us that when you, when you take the leap of faith to follow your dreams, because your dreams are worth fighting for, what a life you'll build. And another part of Dita Romi's story that really inspires me is, and I'll share this right now, my mom is here right now. When we often talk about you, my mom says, you know, Dita Romi and Dita Nessie are such a model couple. You guys are just up there, perfect role models. And for those of you who know Dita Nessie, she was Dita Romi's muse. And you can see parts of her in all his hard work. And that is another important lesson that artists can draw from today, especially young artists. The person you choose to spend the rest of your life with has a huge influence and can be the driving force in pursuing your dreams. As we can see here, Dita Romi's work. And another lesson that we can also learn from Dita Romi is it's also important to surround yourself with people who inspire you, people who share the same values, who share the same faith, who share the same aspirations. And that is what led him to create the Philippine Artists Group of Canada, which I'm so grateful to be proud of and to be a part of. Because not only did he create a wonderful life for his family here in Canada, which started with that leap of faith when you decided to pursue arts against all odds, None of, your, none of your grandkids would be here right now if it wasn't for that choice. <clears throat> These paintings wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that choice. We, the Philippine Artists Group of Canada, would not be here if not for pioneers like you. And I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts, on behalf of PAG, and on behalf of other young artists out there, for being an inspiration and an amazing mentor and sample to emulate. So, as we enjoy today's works, I want you to re reflect on this wonderful artist's life, our maestro's life. 
When you look at his paintings, you will see his love for his family, his country, and his love for God. Thank you everybody for coming. Thank you, Kitoromi, for everything. God bless you.